you know, I've done many video responses towards feminists. You know, as a part of Feminazi Week, I have been searching everywhere to make a video on some stupid radical feminist, or just the feminist in general. I see YouTube videos where people are saying why they need feminism. And pretty much every time, every freaking time, they fail. They fail at a massive grand scale. So, how is this YouTube this YouTube video any different? How exactly? Because of the background music? No. No. We've seen feminists like that before. No. This one has more likes than dislikes. Her name is Tea and Toasty. And as you can see here, she has 22 likes and 5 likes. And this is not edited. I This is a screenshot that I took about a few days ago. By now, it could have over 50 or 60 likes. I mean, it's possible. So, I have to come up with two conclusions. Either A, what she says is actually pretty darn smart, or B, her fans are just a bunch of dimwits. Either way, this is not going to prevent me from making a video response. Alright, T and Oosty, let's see what you have to say. I feel like I'm making this video against my better judgement because the shitstorm that surrounds this specific topic is massive and the repercussions can either be really good or they can be really shitty. And most of the time it's going to be completely full of shit. I thought I just have to do it. I have to give you my opinions on why feminism is important. I need feminism because there are still women out there who get blamed for being raped. So you're basically saying that we shouldn't blame a woman if she gets intoxicated and then she gets raped because, you know, it's not her fault that she would act irresponsible and allow herself to be raped? Are you serious? I mean... <sighs> Granted, it's also the guy's fault that that girl gotten raped, but if you haven't gotten intoxicated, then you have never gotten raped. Or if you travel in groups or travel with a friend, then you might have not gotten raped. I mean, it's simple as that. It's, you know, there's a thing called taking precautions. There are times where it's partially your fault if you get raped because you need to take precautions. If you do not take precautions, then you're going to end up being raped or killed or worse. I need feminism because as a woman, I don't think it's fair that I should earn less money for doing the same job as a man. Men are more likely to die at their jobs than women. Men have to do the heavy lifting most of the time. Men uh, apparently sometimes work overtime. They're more likely to work overtime than women. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh yes, men don't take as many vacation days or sick days as women. And let's see, what else? Oh yes, men don't break down as easily as women. And this is not something that's part of patriarchy. This is fucking true. This is based on science. This is based on facts. Those are just five things, lady. Yes, how dare we? How dare we earn extra money? I need feminism because when women grow up, they're encouraged to be pretty, beautiful, sexy. And when men grow up, they're encouraged to be smart and ambitious. We do not live in that fucking era anymore. Where the fuck do you get this idea? It is exactly where? From your local billboards? Because if that's your evidence, then you're stupid. 
I need feminism because when men have a lot of sex, they're described as the boss, the man, or stud. But when women have a lot of sex, they're described as slut, or whore, or even dirty. That all depends on each individual. If you act like a slut, then you probably are a slut. That's the thing. I need feminism because there are still people out there who are threatened by ambitious women. No one is threatened by women, or maybe there is, but I am doubtful it's because they're women. The reason, probably, is because those people are probably idiots. Have you ever thought of that? I need feminism because something like Women's International Day still exists. Why should that ever even be a thing? Women's International Day should be every day. But yes, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm saying it's very good that we mark it, but still, it shouldn't be necessary. And yet you're not saying anything about Black History Month. Huh. Hmm. Methinks you're racist. I need feminism because many people still believe that women can't be funny without being self-deprecating or being stupid. I don't know where the fuck do you get that idea, but I am very doubtful that's the majority of people. If there's like a group of people who can only find a woman funny if she acts sort of stupid, then they're stupid themselves. Quite frankly, you're trying to appeal to the minority. Why bother? I need feminism because there were more robots than women in the Oscar montage of movie heroes this year. Let me get this straight. You need feminism because there aren't enough women in the Oscars and there were more robots that, I, I am very doubtful that there were more robots than women and even if that was the case why the fuck why, oh my god oh, oh, oh that is just incredibly stupid I need feminism because we would never accept the kind of oppression towards men that we see towards women. I am extremely doubtful that you actually care about men's rights. I am extremely doubtful. And how do I know that? Because of this comment right here. This pretty much just shows that you don't really know much about the male gender. It pretty much shows that you're pretty much living inside of a freaking cocoon. Oh yeah, 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 you you definitely support equality. You definitely don't want to see men oppressed, but yet, you know, you um, can't seem to find on how men have the lower hand during, you know, certain events like, you know, um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's ignore the fact that men have to spend more prison time than women for doing the exact same crime. Uh, men have to go straight to war. Men are fucked up in divorce courts. Most of the time, they favor the women. But other than that, other than that, we men are gods. I often feel like a really bad feminist because I care about things like makeup and hair and I want to see romantic comedies with my friends and I feel insecure about my body and I care about what I look like and that's what makes feminism so hard for me because like I feel like I can't find that fine line. So I sat down and I started thinking about it. What really makes a feminist? It's really got nothing to do with the way that you look or what you wear or the person that you choose to be on the outside. It's got all to do with what's on the inside. I feel like you don't need to be a woman to be a feminist. That would be weird. Why would you have to be a woman? Are you kidding? Feminists sometimes enjoy blaming men and sometimes women for not being feminists because According to them, feminism is equality, and, and if you're not a feminist, you're a total bigot. There is no in-between. You're either a feminist or a bigot. To them, that's feminism. 
they and sometimes I see pathetic white males, you know, beating themselves in the back, telling themselves, "I'm sorry for oppressing you, women." <laughs> I seen this shit over and over and over again. And this video is definitely no different from your average everyday feminist video who tells you on why they need feminism. Your arguments are no different. And yet somehow you manage to get a lot of people to like you. To like your video. Either they have no freaking brains or you somehow managed to brainwash them. I don't know. I don't know how you did it. And anyone who agrees with the fact that women are equal to men are essentially a feminist. I wasn't really sure what you're saying. You know, I had to pay attention a little because I heard R and ENT. And then I paid attention a little bit harder and you were saying R, essentially feminist. R essentially feminist let me just stop you right there and tell you why how much bullshit it is okay it's completely bullshit to say that because you support equality therefore by definition you are a feminist I have dealt with this argument many, many times before, and it hasn't gotten any better. But hey, I can use the exact same logic that you're doing right now. Okay? Seeing that you believe in equality, and seeing that because feminism equals equality, then that means that you're also part nudist. Because nudists believe that because you're nude, you are equal. There is no boundary between uh, the rich and the poor and gender. And guess what? You're also part masculist because masculists believe in equality as well. I mean, they mostly fight for men's rights, but I'm pretty darn sure that they're fighting for equality as well. And they're, guess what? You're also part humanist. And I know this one's gonna make you cringe, but you're also part of the men's right activist group. That's right, you're part of the MRA. Now tell me, are you going to deny that you're, you're a nudist? Are you going to also deny that you're part of the MRA, part of the humanist group, part of the masculinist group? Because if you do that, then you're nothing more than a big fat fucking hypocrite! I honestly think more than anything else, the thing that I struggle with the most is women who devalue themselves to fit into the mold that men make for them. It's a sensitive topic because you can't really go around telling people how they should and shouldn't act. And yet, we have feminists doing the exact same thing. We, we have feminists trying to ban the word bossy. I'm not joking. Just take a look. When I was growing up, I was called bossy. I think the word bossy is just a squasher. Being labeled something matters. By middle school, girls are less interested in leadership than boys. And that's because they worry about being called bossy. We need to tell them it's okay to be ambitious. We need to help them lean in. Words matter. Let's just ban the word bossy. And encourage girls to lead. To be strong and be ambitious. Listen to your own voice. There are no limits. There to be you. You can change the world. Let's ban bossy. Be brave. Be you. Ban bossy. And we also have women who tell men that their bodies are not sexual objects. And we shouldn't look at them like if they are sexual objects. You know, the term, my eyes are up here, not down here. Well, you have no obligation to tell me what I can or cannot look at. I can simply look at the ceiling right now and... You know what? Doesn't do any harm. 
doesn't affect my videos, nor does it affect you. And I bet you're one of those type of feminists who per when wants to wear a pretty little dress without attracting too much attention by those boys who just love boobs. I bet you're one of those and that what they're doing is wrong or not wrong. But at the same time, I feel like I just want to be able to say to girls that you don't have to be what other people want you to be to be the right you. You can be whatever you want to be. And if you don't want to be sexualized, if you don't want to be seen as wife material, or if you don't want to be standard specific version of a girl, that's fine. I don't want my little sister who's 10 years old growing up thinking that the most important thing in her life is to have long beautiful hair, have the correct kind of clothes, and know that people think that she is pretty. That is why, I think, that is why I need feminism. Yes, because feminism is the only solution. You know, not humanism, not masculism, not nudism, definitely not the MRA, no, it's feminism. I need feminism for my little sister to know that when she grows up, she can be whoever she wants to be. I don't know guys, it's a tricky one because I'm not really quite sure that I know what my personal definition of a feminist even really is yet. So basically the reason that you became a feminist because you heard the word equality, that's about it. You know, if you hear equality, then that means you're on their boat. You know, not knowing what feminism really is, you know, because that, because, you know, surely feminism has no faults. Despite the fact that feminism is the most hated thing next to the WBC. Really strange on how the world works. Now, I'm going to have to end the video here. However, there are still a few things that I need to point out. And this is about the comments. Oh, goody. Here we go. Take a look at this comment. Um, this part of the video is dedicated towards J.B. Blackwater and Alice Cameron. Both pathetic white knights defending tea and party, whatever her name is. And uh, this guy, J.B. Blackwater, thinks that I'm a troll because I bring up point about tennis where I said that in male and female tennis men have to work out more they have to be more fit they have to train harder than women and yet they get paid the exact same amount I said this you know and, and, and yet somehow I get called out as a troll because of what reason? Is it because my video series on feminism, Feminazi Week, is that your problem? Yeah, you know, let's not watch the video because of the title. You know, let's not listen what this guy has to say. Makes perfect sense. Let me ask you a question, Davy Blackwater. Have you ever heard of the meaning, uh, the, I mean, not the meaning, the term, don't judge a book by its cover? What you just did, you literally, what you literally just judged a book by its cover. You, you either judge me because of my name or because of the title of one of my videos. Yeah, that's not exactly a real smart move there, Buster. <sighs> you must be one of the dumbest white knights I have ever come across with. As for Alice Cameron, remember that I provided one example. I have provided more examples in this video right now. If you're actually watching this video, remember, rewind back like a few minutes ago and I 
would have presented my points. You, you get that? But back to you, tea and toasty. Now that I've made my video response destroying your entire argument, well, not really an argument, it's more just a, your own personal beliefs, and I destroyed it, what are you going to do? Are you going to see me as just another troll on the internet who just wants attention? Hmm. Or maybe you might actually make a video response. You might fail greatly, but still, I would love to see a video response. And if you decide, hey, maybe we should debate on Google Plus Hangout, I mean, Google Hangouts and um, Skype, then that's fine by me. Either way, I'll be waiting. There's still a few more videos that I need to do on Feminazi Week. And this next video is going to be towards a girl named Lucy Bellet. And guess what? If you haven't noticed it yet, notice it now. Same freaking story. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook. Peace the game out. If you're a subscriber of mine, you notice that my hat is over here. My hat logo is over here and not over there. Uh, I did it because I uh, didn't want to block some of the screenshots that I'm showing. But other than that, my hat, my logo of my hat will be put back here in this corner. So, that's all.